Hi everyone, it's Denise with In Liquid Color, and uh, right now I am taking a much needed break from prepping files for Comic Con prints. And uh, I got this lovely package in the mail, and uh, it's fairly sizable. One of my viewers and patrons, Victor, sent this, so I thought we could open this box together, and hopefully, Victor doesn't mind that we do that. Um, so I removed our mailing information and thus the tape that was holding things together on top, but I have not seen the contents inside this box yet, so let's go. Go ahead and take a look. Hopefully Victor doesn't mind me sharing this. This is a, a painting that he did. It's a postcard. There's some information on the back there. I'll go ahead and take a look at this off camera. And let's go ahead and uncover what's inside of here. All right. Now he did give me a heads up of um, kind of what was in the box and uh, I'm really, really excited for this item here on top and he also um, wrote to me on this, the postcard that he included that this is from a friend of his named Vicki and she has an Etsy store and um, this is a handmade, a handmade watercolor journal. I'm really excited. I'm almost shaking. Um, I'm really excited to see this. I don't have a watercolor journal. Certainly not one this nice and uh, I'm really really excited. It comes with this beautiful uh, rustic pencil. And it looks like she's got her little moo card here. I'll put her information up here for you. There you go. Beautiful little card here. It's cute, a little music, music note paper. Oh wow! Look, look how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness! This looks like it's like hand detailed leather. It's got this beautiful tie around it. I don't think I want to untie this. I think I'm just going to slip it off. And they're all hand bound. All right, so now that I have a chance to kind of look through this and everything, um, I kind of took a look at the binding inside. And if I recall correctly, Victor said that each of these little pamphlets are able to be removed so you can replace them if you'd like to. Um, and then also he included on my little note here that uh, Vicky's Etsy store has very kindly agreed to give a discount to all of my viewers. So I will go ahead and put that discount code up here through the magic of editing for you so that uh, you can go check that out if you want to. I'll also put the information in the description below. Whew, that was a loud car. <laughs> a motorcycle probably. Are we done? Okay. Um, <laughs> All right, and that code is going to be good through the end of 2017. So if you'd like to go ahead and check that out, um, I've had a look at her shop and it's really, really lovely. So she repurposes these materials and makes these lovely journals. So thank you so much, Vicki and Victor, for this. All right, it looks like there's a couple of palettes in here as well. I recognize this one already. This is a portable painter. I'm very fond of these. If you haven't already caught my review for it, you can go ahead and check out the link up there. Um, and so now I have a second one. It looks like this has Mar Marmary Blue. I never know how to say that, but these are paints that I have not tried yet and I'm really, really excited um, that Victor sent these so I could try them out. A little swatch card in there for me and everything. Oh, <laughs> it looks like some of them stuck to the lid here. I was like, wait, what happened? Um, looks like they might have some honey in them. They're nice and sticky. So got some, some pretty turquoise in here. Ah, it's all written on the back. And then he also sent, I'm also familiar with this palette, I've got one too. Um, this is an American Journey set of paints, which I also have not really tried. One of my other viewers did send me um, 
their burnt sienna to try out but i haven't been able to try out some of their other colors yet wow this is like a full full palette thank you victor so it looks like this goes this direction for the palette but we're gonna read the names this way it's got um a wide variety of blues and reds this color in particular is stunning it's called june bug and that looks like it's Prussian blue and thalo green mixed together. Oh, that's going to be a new favorite. All right, well, I cannot wait to get my hands on these to paint. Um, I do have to get back to my editing tonight specifically, but um, maybe what I will do is go ahead and set these down and um, kind of work on my other stuff. But before I release this video, I will go ahead and swatch out some of these paints just to, to get a feel for them. And I'll put that footage here in the, in the video. So thank you again. This is really exciting. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right, everyone, I am back. So I got this lovely package yesterday, but I didn't have a lot of time to kind of go through and play with everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today for you. Um, there was a ribbon tied around uh, the journal, but it was um, really thin fabric and it, it broke. So I went ahead and put some twine on it. Um, it's kind of necessary, I think, if you were ever gonna move this journal around just because it is a very uh, flexible journal. Um, so it's all hand bound, but instead of being attached to the spine here, um, it's made to be removable so you can take this whole thing out if you were to fill up this whole notebook and replace it with another one that um, Vicki can supply for you in her shop as well. So um, it has a really nice pro in that you can refill this notebook, but uh, the small con is that it does slide around a bit. So when it's not in use, you'll want to make sure it's uh, secure so that everything stays put. According to the note that Victor sent me, um, inside I have Fabriano Artistico 140 pound cold pressed paper. Um, this front sheet is a piece of mat board um, and then the watercolor paper is behind it. Um, I'm really excited to try this out. A lot of you have been asking me about this paper but I don't have any or didn't have any until now so I'll be able to kind of test it out. And each little section, there's five sections um, because it's hand bound. The paper is folded over which means in the front half of the section the right side of the paper is facing up, but in the second half of the section, it's going to be the wrong side up. Um, so you could either paint on both sides anyway, or if you wanted to use the right side, you just flip to using the back sides there. And uh, I don't think that's specific to this watercolor notebook. I think any handmade watercolor notebook is going to have that seam in the middle. It's going to be folded, so you're going to have the two sides to work with. So let's go ahead and um, I figured what I would do today is swatch out the paints that he sent me as well. So let me go ahead and get those set up. All right, we are first gonna take a look at the My Mary Blue paints. Now, I am particularly excited to receive this package. I'm always excited to receive mail from you, especially when they include watercolors. Um, however, I have not tried either of these paint brands or the Fabriano paper, so this is a whole lot of firsts for me, and that's always really exciting. Um, there's one Daniel Smith color in here, but it's not one that I own, so that'll be exciting as well. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all these out. I'll make sure to write the names underneath them so you can see which ones are which. Um, and then after I do the My Mary Blue, I will go ahead and swatch out the American Journeys as well. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and let the rest of this video play out with these swatches. And I hope that you enjoy seeing this. Um, thanks again to Victor and to Vicky for um, sending these supplies my way. Again, don't forget that you can stop by Vicky's shop on Etsy um, and use the code CREATE. I'll put it here again, CREATE, for free shipping on any of your orders through the end of 2017. Um, and I will go ahead and do a more in-depth review on the My Merry Blues and American Journeys at some point in the hopefully near future, uh, probably after my comic-con show and um yeah so look forward to that thank you all for liking commenting and subscribing big huge thanks to my patrons especially to victor and uh i will see you all in the next video